Hello, and welcome to a Font Lab tutorial by Lions Type. In this video, I'm going to show you a more effective way to change the weight of your typeface. The video I made last year was about how to make high quality weight masters manually. In this video, it's entirely different. First, go to Window, Panels, and Measurements. In the Measurements panel, the stems, curvatures, and others will automatically be detected when you click on the diamond icon. This makes it easier and effective when we're going to be using an interesting action tool. Go to Tools and click Actions, or press Ctrl or Command Shift I. In the Actions panel, go to Adjust and click Adjust Stems. Then, as outlined by one of the text labels in the Adjust Stems section, you'll want to enter a new value for the stems. We'll get to the curvatures in a few moments, so let's start with the straight stems. You'll either want to first type out the new stem values for the horizontal stems or the vertical stems. Just entering one value in either field won't change what is shown in the preview. Keep experimenting with the stem adjustments until you're happy with how they look. Then click OK. Then you'll want to adjust the side bearings as the spacing for the glyph might be too tight or too wide. It depends on how you set the values in one glyph or another. In type design, the stems of the uppercase O are a tiny bit thicker than the letter H, among other letters with straight stems. So you'll want to adjust the stem values for glyphs similar to the letter O. This may include the C, G, S, and other rounded glyphs, but you'll have to refine and or finalize them manually, as FontLab doesn't automatically apply a weight change on the terminals. Now here's how the process is done with both straight stems and curvatures. Another flaw that is very noticeable in FontLab is that new stem values don't work with diagonal glyphs. As far as I know, only straight and curved stems can be adjusted. So you'll have to change the weight on the glyphs with diagonal strokes manually. To do the same process with the lowercase glyphs, you'll first want to check the measurements on their stems. Then determine the appropriate values. As I've realized, it won't work when one of the nodes is set in Genius. Set it to something along the lines of smooth so the horizontal stem on the lowercase glyph can be adjusted effectively, despite that you're seeing me take a different approach.
This has been a tutorial on making changes to your typeface's weight with useful steps. Thank you for watching this video.